All right, this is Randall, this is JJ, CrowdMagastraining.com. In this video, I want to go over the defense against a choke from the front, but using the one-hand pluck. I'm going to give you a few reasons why you should know how to do the defense on both the left side and the right side. So let me explain what's up here. JJ chokes me directly on. As you guys know, I can do the pluck, the palm strike with this hand, with this hand, it's just personal preference. I personally am right side dominant, so I like the palm strike with the right hand because it's stronger, and then fight from there. But now let's get into the reason why you might want to know how to do this on both sides. So here's the first example of what if it's an off angle attack. So if I'm facing directly this way and JJ is off at a 45 degree angle here, let's say I have my favorite hand is the left hand to do this defense. It doesn't make sense for me to use this far side hand trying to do defense because there's a couple problems with this. One is this hand is so far away, it doesn't even reach to his face or his chin. The only way it's going to reach is if I rotate my body. But what's happening is I'm actually rotating my throat into the choke, making it tighter. The other problem is this hand that's over here, it's so far behind me, it's kind of awkward for me to pluck this hand over here. Especially if you have stiff shoulders, it's gonna be tough. So between this hand not reaching, this hand plucking and driving my own throat into his hands, it doesn't work very well. So instead, it would make sense for me to take the hand as closest to his face, in this case, the right hand, let that be the palm strike. This hand is gonna be able to pluck this one a lot easier and do the defense. Another reason why this is important is this hand that's back here, who cares if he's squeezing with this hand? Even if I pluck this off, he's just squeezing the back of my neck. It's this hand that's the danger area, so this is the one that's got to pop off. So that's one reason why I have to know how to do it on this side. And obviously, if JJ is the bad guy's over on this side, we have to flip the script here. So my left hand's closest, so I have to do that. It's my palm strike, the other hand does this here. So that's the first thing. So if you have never practiced this way, have your partner choke you from off angles. It's not like the bad guy's always going to walk directly in front of you and then choke you. That's not realistic. They're just going to can choke you from wherever they're positioned. I could include an off angle. So it's very important to practice those off angle defenses. Now one issue that comes up when we train our students is we say to practice them at off angles, but sometimes they misinterpret that. What, what they think is, like, let's say I'm facing directly this way. They'll come directly off to the side and choke, and then they'll do this. Now this works, but that's not the default technique. And I have to explain this is the reason why. It's like, well, it worked. Why, why can't I just do that? This is the reason why. If JJ chokes me as a bad guy and he's very close to me, <clears throat> I can't get this in here, so that's why we have to do the standard defense from the side, which is a different technique, because it works regardless of whether he's choking from far away or in close. So make sure that you understand the difference between off angle and directly from the side. Now here's another reason why you want to know how to do both of them. What if they're just choking with one hand? Well, obviously if he's choking with this hand, this hand has to be my plucking hand, the other one's the palm strike, and vice versa. It doesn't make sense just for me, hey, this is my favorite side. But it doesn't work very well, so I have to flip it. Plucking hand, palm strike hand. So that's another drill of practice, having your partner just choke with one hand as well. And one thing to keep in mind too, one thing I like about the one hand plucking technique, it's very versatile as you can see already, but it doesn't just have to be for a choke. It could be any type of grab from the front or off angle front. So I'll give you an example. Let's see, say he grabs the back of my neck. He can do the same move. What if he's grabbing my shirt? Same move, two hands on my shirt. Same move. So your partner could be grabbing you, neck, hair, they could be doing a lot of different grabs and you can make this technique work. And, but it's important to know how to do it on both sides to so become very versatile with it. So I'm a big fan of this technique, but you should learn how to do it on both sides. And I just gave you several reasons why. So practice some off angle attacks, practice showing with one hand, make some shirt grab, lapel grab, neck grab. It all works the same. All right guys, play with these variations so that way you know how to defend yourself against everything. All right, see y'all.